Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Welcome back to Anderson TV, everyone. I'm here with... Sapo. Sapo. Yep. From Yamaha. What are we doing? This is the seat track, so we're showing this. Seat track. Uh, it comes in two flavours. Okay. So, as you can see this here, I'm actually colour coordinated for the, yeah. for the unit, if you notice. Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, because, yeah, I see the... Oh, actually, yeah. There you go. So, there you go. Right, before we get into this, I know you... What are you thinking? Jack is not here. We thought he'd be in today. Um, he's had some trouble getting here. Whatever. So I'm just here and you're going to have to deal with that. But that's okay because I'm just as unaware of what this is as he would be if he was here. So, mate. Yes. What's going on? What is this? This is wicked. So this is amazing. So this is the Seat Track uh, Music Production Studio. So it is fully standalone. You can use it standalone. But there's also a companion app which we'll show a little bit later on. So it's... Uh, built-in battery, rechargeable, four hours battery, built-in speaker, you can sample into it, lying in. We have a, a MIDI capabilities as well, it comes with an okay. adapter, yep, so you can have breakout as well. Awesome. Uh, step sequencing, effects, a song mode, a scene mode, um, yeah, re really powerful, really, really powerful. Wicked. So who, who do you think, who's this kind of aimed at? Um, I mean, you can go, it's got many levels to it, so someone's maybe chilling at home and they want to maybe get a, make a quick beat down and then... Mm. Flesh it out later, maybe in the app. Mm. Uh, your pro producer might want to do little remix ideas and stuff, and then we can maybe build some scenes and songs, and then might want to go out perform it live because you can actually really perform really well live with it. Okay. Because you have live performance strips here, everything's assignable. Yeah, that was where I, I was not yeah, expecting cool, that. It? I just I don't know what I was expecting here, but yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, I thought I'd get back in. Yeah, <laughs> mate. Yes. So now we've, we've got the screen recording going. Yep. What's going on here? So over USB C, so it's USB C audio. Wicked. Yep. Nice so stereo that. audio. Um, Links directly into the app. You can't use the app on its own. It has to link the seat track. Okay. So the thing about the app is everything that you see and can do on the app, you can do more or less here on the hardware. Okay. It just has a little bit more deeper editing. So you have like 2,000 sounds in here. We have an mm. AWM2 synth engine. We have an FM en engine with four operators. So obviously, if you want to dig into the operators, you probably will have to... Yeah, pretty yeah. intense stuff. Yeah. yeah, okay. But there is ways of doing you know, the deeper editing and stuff like that in it. So over 2,000 sounds to mess around with and stuff. So once you get into the editing side of it, you'll realise how the app, the synergy between the two is like, it's just levels then, you know. It's really powerful. Wicked. Mm. Should we make something? Let's do it. So, oh, obviously this is tracked before. <laughs> this okay. is my demo track. So, let's show you how the terminology would work. So, Please do. basic step sequencing. That's the track, all, all from this, okay. built in from this, all the sounds and stuff, everything's internal. But you have the capability to use your own samples. So you can use custom samples, so you're not set with what's you, already here. Using, yeah, the set. Yes, drag okay. and drop, right. which we'll show in, in yeah, a little, in a little yeah, yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. So the terminology is this. So obviously we have buttons at the side, the top, um, and the, on the other side as well, on the right-hand side, and obviously the template on top. So there is key combinations, and you're not using no more than two key combinations to get your job done. Okay. Yep. So at the side here, play, page, mute and solo, speak for themselves, yep. delete if you want to delete parameters or delete what you did, volume. At the back here, we have bar length, octave, key and scale. Really cool, that's in here. We, have, we actually have chords, we have keys and scales as well. Wicked. And you can edit the chords as well. Oh, mate. But obviously, you, you'll go into the app for that as well. Uh, rec sample, which is great, yep. so we can line in. We can... Uh, no inbuilt microphone, eh? Yes, and the built-in Oh, there's an inbuilt yes, microphone. Yeah, and there's built-in wow. mic. So we can have line in built-in mic. There it is, built-in ah, mic. Ah, yes. But what's really cool is, which we'll show in a second, is uh, it can resample. So we can actually resample what you did to a key. Wicked. Amazing. So it's really powerful. Three different sections. So this is your drum section. So these are the drums. Right, some effects yeah. going on as well. Some little effects in there. So they're not really set in stone, but it's, it's the idea of where you'll go, kick, snare, clap, hi-hat. Yeah. You can interchange them in the app. You can actually maybe put a snare on a kick channel if you wanted to, but it's just great to be able to say, okay, there's a kick channel, snare channel, hats and percussion at the bottom. Yep, mm. and that's your drum section. This is the synth section. So there's three synth engines. Okay. The AWM2 synth engines. That's where the bass is coming from. Very nice. And my pads. Nice. And then we have the DX, which is similar to the Reface okay. series of um, sounds, yeah, which is great. great. And then the sampler engine. Okay. So the sampler engine can have seven slots of samples. You can be anything you want. And you can record into it, which we'll have a look at as well. You can actually record your voice into it and use it as a sample and edit the sample in the app. <laughs> Start and end point. Proper sampling, you know. So it's really, really powerful awesome. in that sense. This is wicked. Yeah, it's really cool. So. The terminology is this, so you click on the channel, you get to see the steps, yep. Okay. So kick, snare, clap. So if you look at the kick and I press solo yeah. and I press kick, you get that sort of uh, turquoise light. Mm -hmm. And it's just basic steps you can see. 
So a lot of people are going to be familiar with that. So it's yeah. like straight away you can get rough ideas down. Yeah. But obviously it goes much deeper. So each track can have six different patterns. Okay. So you could actually interchange kicks and then maybe the second roll kick could be like a road drum roll. And the third one could maybe some staccato sort of kicks, okay. like I was doing in the arrangement. So if I unsolo it, you'll see here. Um, kick, snare, hi-hat patterns, and then the all pattern. All patterns is all the patterns together, and yep. I can change all the different patterns. Right. And if I hold on to all, I get the option to do patterns one to three and three to six. Oh, so there's six patterns. Mate, this is yeah, cool. it's really powerful. So okay. Six patterns per okay. eleven tracks. So it's once you get the terminology of that, it's like, oh, and then it's like, ah, oh, right. Yeah. You know, so you can do stuff like this. It's understanding the hierarchy. Right? Once you go to the yeah, head there and yeah. there, and it's like, okay, wicked. I can have a full. Wow, this is no, this is this is super cool. And obviously, there's pages. So there's a page mode. Yeah. So you're not just set with one bar. You can have 128 steps making eight bars per track of the 11 tracks with yeah, six patterns. Six parts, okay, right. Wow. So, so it's, yeah, it's really powerful. And this is often the hardware. We don't even look at the app yet. So yeah. it's quite powerful. So for instance, like I said there, uh, kick. Second kick here, I've got some sort of like drum and bass drum rolls. And then the third one's just like one kick. Mm. So on the fly, I could be like this. Do you know what I mean though? So you can really start to bring things up. What I like about this is the launch quantize mode. I love it. I have lots of drum machines at home and if someone comes out, I go, has it got launch quantize? Has it got song mode? And, and this has it. It has them all in there. So if you want to do real time triggering of the launch quantize, so getting ideas down of how a strong structure might work, you can yeah. do it on the fly or have the waiting quantize to trigger. I'll show you that. So I hold the all button, uh, patterns one to six. Uh, yeah. Yep. So if I want to do it real time, I just literally just double click on it. If I want it to wait and play and come in, I use the launch quantize feature. Now the launch quantize feature is dictated by pressing the project mode and then the all button. And as you can see here, these lights, yep. one bar, two bar, three bar, all the bit to eight. Right, okay. And that means, for instance, when I trigger it, it's gonna wait to come in. So let's have a look at how it would work. So if I go to all mode, and I press the second part, That's it by the launch one size. So right. it's just skipping to a bar and waiting. Yeah. If I press project mode on all and I go to maybe four bars, yeah. and then I did the real time trigger there, also said the trigger there, and it waits. There you go. <laughs> just like that. Just Wicked. like that. So it's great to be able to get ideas down how certain sections of a song might work. Yeah. Because man. obviously you're not just set with the kick pattern, the snare pattern, the clap pattern, the hi hat pattern. You can actually have maybe kick pattern two snare pattern three, claps, maybe part four, you yeah. know, so you can actually really start to mix and match the things. It, it starts to become really powerful. Yeah. Then. Um, and also, like I said before, you can real time trigger your actions. So I can say, okay, give me it all again. Let's go back to the main one. Now it's just double click. See what I mean? So this you can... is so cool. Well, I feel like so many of these, like, these type of products, mm. you have this thing of sure, all of them you can you can make a sick beat on. You know, you can make yeah. whatever you want, yeah. but things start to get very stale very quickly a lot of the time. And that's the I mean? thing, and that's why I like we've got pages so we can this expand cool. what yeah. you're doing. So, but you can stick with that one track, and then you can just develop it, it, everything having that six parts. I think I made this exactly. Is, this is cool. I, I, I get it. It's, I get it. I get and it. that's what is getting the terminology because obviously every drum machine is kind of different, and you know, yeah. studio kind of machine. And so once you get it, you go, it just clicks. It's just the ability to be able to switch it up. Yes, yeah, so like that. you want. Yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, it's really really good. Um, so. Built in effects, we have these effects pages here. So I like the terminology of whereas you just page and see what you're up to. Yeah. The let up parameter sections correlate with the buttons. So you're not like thinking, oh, what am I on here? Sound, pitch one um, is knob one, pitch is two, pans three, volumes four. So you can only see what you're kind of using, so it's correlated yes. to the knob. So that's pretty cool. You have master effects and then single effects. Each individual track can have an effect on it. Wicked. So for instance, if I go to kick, and then I tap down to the second effects page, or I just go to the effects page here and I choose my effects. We had the tape stop thing before. Yeah. Now if I move it to distortion, you get our effects level, which is like our, our send, how much wet you're gonna do, how much effects intensity you're doing. So I can say, you know what I mean? So, and then you get the different algorithms of distortion by just clicking the button. So right. if we go up here. I love a bit of distortion. <laughs> we I all love, love distortion. I love a bit of distortion, man. So, I mean, that's a good one, isn't it? That's a good one. 
I like that one. Mm, and then, oh, I, can, mate, and then yeah. I can drive it, so. Yeah, man after my heart, man. Get a really fat sound out yeah, of that, so that's, man. Oh, mate, it's crunchy, you know, and then I can play it like that. Oh. <laughs> Just uh, blow the speakers off, Love so it. yeah. You probably won't go that hard on it, but it's that's the master effect yeah, as well. Yeah, that's cool. So I could do that as a single effect. So I could actually just, <laughs> instead of collecting it all, I can just do it individually, yeah. distortion. So I'm gonna go back to distortion, just take it all off the main one, mm -hmm. and say, for instance, let's, let's just distort the hats. Single, hat. Now the hat starts to cut through a bit more. A little bit, yeah. So you get to mix and match your kits and kind of you can sculpt it, not only of your own sounds, but you can also sculpt how the effects work together. Wicked. So it's really, really powerful. And again, a master effect uh, with the page buttons, obviously you can see what you're doing on the page buttons. Mm. But if you go to the third one, we actually see uh, three different slots here. So there's reverb delay and there's other. So other mode means that these two then become sort of a high gain and a low gain EQ. So it's kind right. of a master EQ. Okay. So you get to kind of get a good sound now, just from wow. here on the hardware. These then become effect sends. So there's a global rever wow. reverb, there's a, gro a global delay. You this know? is so cool, man. Yeah, so this is like literally mixing it in this machine and we haven't even fired up the app yet. Yeah. So you get to see that. So you kind of get the terminology right. So it's drums, synth section, sample mm -hmm. section, effect Effects. section, and then performance slots at the side. And obviously we have the mic and the built-in speaker as well. Yeah. The built-in speaker. So you literally can just plug all this out, be on the train or whatever, and then just jam and get some really cool ideas, come back, and then go into the app and go deeper yeah. if you want to. But you can literally use it standalone if you wanted to. Right. You know, headphones. Yeah. Or mic, you know, this speaker. Mate, this would be good for Nam. I'm gonna do it. Yes. <laughs> That'd be great for, great for the flight. Oh, yeah. You got an 11 hour flight? Yeah, exactly. 11 yeah. hour flight? You'll have a, five fun. tunes done. Absolutely. <laughs> well, maybe not five. Right. Well, actually, you would, it's 11 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so you might have yeah, a Five, five ideas. Right, mate, yeah. I'm a sucker for bass. Can, uh, can, we, do I, can we get to the synth section? Uh, yes, of course, I'd, I'd love to see what's going on so, here. So, okay, so if you click on the synth engine, for instance, you have a sound tab here. Right. So the sounds will be dictated by the knob. So I'm in the bass section. Yeah. So if I hold the sound button, you see these different lights here. So this is where the app becomes a bit more... Easy to... Yeah, because okay. these are the categories. Yes. So it's bass. Right. And then we obviously go in here, we can have synth. Oh my God, how many, how many categories? These are all, These are all categories. Every single one of them is categories. But oh. if you look in here, it's like bass, synth, piano, lead, right. so effects, can... rises, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So if you go in bass again, you can, you know? So say you had a bass there, you're gonna be thinking, okay, how do I play the bass? And you can play it on the keys. Wicked. Now you might look at that and think, okay, how do I expand upon? Because that's really cool, but I'm like on the train. Yeah. Like, so. <laughs> What do I, how do I, you know, someone's got a table up with food in it and you're like trying to get in there yeah. and you want to be a bit more... Excuse me, musical genius. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So there's two ways. We can plug a MIDI keyboard in if you have the room on the train, <laughs> but you're going on a plane, right? So, so you'll have room, you'll have some room, hopefully. Right, okay. So you can plug a keyboard in, but if you want to just stay self-contained, headphones in, yeah. no one's bothering you, and I want to play more, more expressively, yeah. I just go to key mode and I go to all, sorry, all in key mode, and then we get a one octave keyboard. Wicked. So that's really cool. So then you get to get, you know. Yeah, oh, mate, this but, is so And cool. if you need to go up octave or down on octave, you just press the octave key. Right. Fine. So it's really cool for that. And obviously with the kicks and snares and drum section. So if I go into a drum section and I hold it and I press a synth key, then I get to see. I get access to then play real time. Okay. So, so you're not just set with drawing step notes in, although it's not a problem, you can do that as well, but now you get to play, play a kit. Real time. Working. And you can have quantize on or quantize yes. off. Yes. And that's a key combination. Really easy to do, take it on and off. And we have the metronome on and off as a key combo as well. But in the app again, you will see in a minute, it's easy to do that. Okay. So you can get really good expressive playing as well. It does go much deeper. So for instance, if I go to kick, obviously we can draw kicks in and stuff like that, but now there's levels to the sound design, um, sound design possibilities. Okay. So the first one would be micro timing. So micro timing is the swing. Swing, yeah. So swing velocity, I'm assuming, stuff like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because someone, awesome. someone will say, oh, how do I swing it then? Because, all right, if it's quantized, but now what a groove, I don't know, maybe a house track or a UKG track where the hats yeah, are swung yeah. a little bit. So this is really cool. So you just choose a step or multiple steps. So these two. Yeah. And this is like quite a, common combination that you'll start doing. You need to affect a step or a drum key, well, a drum key for a step, hold it, or multiple steps, yeah. and then you can do a combo. So okay. step, combo, step, combo. So that, that terminology is pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm holding two steps here on the hats, and then I literally just turn it. If you look on the right-hand side there, micro-timing. So that's a really cool combo, I think, to work with. So you just literally just click on it, micro-timing's lit, 
and then I can choose negative or positive values by the knobs. Oh, and the, the harder you press the knobs, the quicker you can do that. Yeah. So let's swing it back a little bit and you'll hear it. Man. That's a bit too loose now. <laughs> Drum bass people will be on me now for that, but let's <laughs> keep it tight, I'll keep it tight. But you get the That's idea. That's wicked. So you can really get, you know, and then the levels of that would be, I can have different types of swung sort of grooving hats yeah. within that. So you That's get to really, so cool. yeah. It's, I love that, I absolutely love it. And obviously if you need to undo it, you can just go back to your mode here. It doesn't, doesn't seem too inconvenient for live playing either, do you know what I mean? If, if, if you know, doing it on the fly, exactly. it seems all right. Yeah, yeah, and everything's kind of lit on this LED, you know. Yeah. If you're looking at this a lot, because you look at it for copy and paste, which we'll show in a minute, yeah. you look at it for your levels, you know, your effects, you look at it yeah, for like, yeah. okay, how much swing am I doing? Oops, positive, down is negative, how yeah. much value is I'm doing? So that's really, really good, so that's swing. Um, the next level is, we have probability. Okay. So. This is where it starts to go like, oh right, it can do that. Yeah. It can do that. Like, so probability is a big one, right? So I have a lot of drum machines and probability isn't on all of them. Yeah. It's not on all of them. So if people don't know what probability is, it's like a randomized feature. Yeah. It's technically a kind of randomized feature. So say, again, we'll stick with the hats. These are in here. Maybe just solo it so we get an idea. Make it a bit funky. Okay. okay <laughs> so wicked. maybe these two. Yeah. I can hold it. Really simple, this is the key combo thing now. Mm -hmm. Hold my steps that I want to affect. I'm gonna press the mute button, and if you look here on this LED again, you get eight maxed out. So these are eight levels of probability. Right. So once I start pressing mute, seven levels, six levels, five levels, all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. So obviously probability is, what's the probability of this step coming in at this yeah. time? This is a killer feature. So literally I can go, let's go down a little bit here to maybe three. And that means then, for instance, it'll trigger or maybe on the third step or it won't, you know, it's like this is the randomized almost feature. So this is great for, if you have a one bar loop, you can technically maybe make that an evolving yeah. track because the hats are gonna be a probability coming in or not, or maybe the snare's coming in or not, or maybe the kick's coming in or not. So you can have one bar loop evolving all the time. So yeah. for live performance. But a bit of variation, uh, regardless mm. of what's happening, a bit of variation every Bang on. time it comes around, it just feels a bit Bang on, that's the word variation. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'd say, variation, yeah. So the variation is there. So if I press uh, play, So it's, it's missing some now, I'm not. Let's stop that and do the first two. Uh, mute, probability. So the first two. Missed it. Gone again. <laughs> Here it comes again. And so... It just feels a bit fresher, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's just something. If, yeah. I, if I unsolo that, now the hats are doing their own thing. So you get kind of a funk out of just, yeah. just that one hat pattern. Well, I, I, I feel like that's a flex. Yeah. Because yeah. so many products, I think, rely on probability mm. when they it's lacking a, uh, an ability to change it up. To go deeper into but this, it. But we've already established that this doesn't have to do that. No, no. So I like that. Yeah. It's like one of those kind of things where it's, it's a feature, but I appreciate it more in this because it's already given me options to change things up. And exactly. then you go, okay, on top of that, Yes. on top of yeah. all the tracks, on top of all the parts of those tracks you have, Probability and then yeah, that's right, what I like is, you yeah. see because like we started in the beginning like you know You might just want to do a kick snare high up pattern. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that groove. I, I like that I'll flesh it out later. Yeah, but then for the people who like, like we're geeks, right? We're yeah. digging deeper and deeper and deeper. We're all geeks in it. Yeah. <laughs> we like our tech So you might want to go more into things. And yeah, then, you know, yeah. I might want to do try different variations and swings and maybe do some effects and stuff Yeah, so you can choose you can come in at any level you want to come in at. This yeah? is so cool, man. Yeah. So it's really cool So another one that like, if you go a bit deeper is if I go to the snare and um, we have parameter locking Okay. So if I hold a step and then I can choose, so I hold a step and then I click pitch and it goes to magenta color. Okay. So anything to do with magenta, I was getting this mixed up with purple the other day. Right, okay. <laughs> I was like, is it purple? I think in the printers, magenta, it's magenta. <laughs> we, had a, we had a whole conversation about this the other day. So it's magenta. Okay. It's magenta. Magenta. Right? So anything magenta in here, it means it has an activity on it. It has something on it or something written to it. Right. So, so it's good to know that yellow, it's the normal step. Magenta, okay, it might have parameter lock in on it. It might have, you know. I've done something to it. Yes, something to it that you can, and you can stack the parameter locks. Fine. So if I hold the step, then it's got parameter lock and it's got pitch. I can say, okay, I'm gonna pitch it up. Just this step. <laughs> oh, I actually like that. So, yeah, it's actually pretty good actually. Just, uh, let's go down though, let's go down. So I'm gonna pitch it down. Yeah, rim shot. Maybe a little bit more. It's Let's like go up a bit more. There we go. Bit. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit actually. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. So that's really cool. So then you say you get a step and you go, you know what, I like that. And you might want to stack maybe some um, automation, you know, like it's, it's called motion recording in here. Right. So you can actually stack things together, you know, and it can be a really powerful step then that you have. So what if you get a step and you go, okay, I like the way that's pitched there. How do I move that to another step now? I don't want to do what, exactly what I did there. Mm. You don't, you're in a right performance maybe? Yeah, you don't, yeah. oh, was it on pitch minus four or five? What do I do? <laughs> so a really cool thing is you can copy and paste steps across pages. So if I, again, combination, if I hold, You'll see this LED flash here. So that means that it's copied. Okay. So that means that I can go to page mode, which is then holding the copy. Right. And then I can just nice. paste. Obviously that's too much, right? Yeah, so let's, gun. Maybe let's make it a little bit more. That's <laughs> 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 like distortion coming in. <laughs> Mate. We always love distortion. Like, uh, the distortion's great. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It just sounds good. Drum and bass is what I do, Mate, so, so I, we need distortion. I do love these. Yes. These are, yeah, these they're, are cool. they're nice. And these are assignables. These ain't set in stone. Okay. So you can actually, you know, you can assign, like, there's other tape stop, there's amp simulations, nice. and stuff like this. So you can okay. get the cab cabinets and stuff like that. So, you know, there's this really... wicked. Yeah, really, really powerful features. All right, so bring it over to the laptop. Yes. There, there's one word on here that's really exciting me, I'm not going to lie. Okay, what is it? Visualizer. Oh, we'll have to look at that later. Later? That's the unveiling. That's, okay, the, that's the big right. one. Okay, so I, I, I'm, right, I'm right to be excited by that, right? I mean, yeah. look, okay. Yes. Right, go on. Let's, what, what, so, I, like, what? I like how you picked up on the visualizer. Yeah, I, I noticed and it earlier. I was like, what, what does that mean? You like, know, the visualizer. When I saw the visualizer, I was like, that's a game changer. Okay. And that's right, what okay, it is. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. We'll leave it. Okay. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Very, very soon. It, trust me, it's a game changer. Oh, fine. Let's look at the boring stuff. All right. Okay. What's going on there? Come on. <laughs> uh, just before I quickly do that, let's show you Gone. the motion recording. So oh, oh, yes. Which yes, is, yes, which yes, is technically like automation. Yes. So I'm going to show you motion recording. And I'm going to show you sub steps just what, quickly while we do that. Okay. Uh, sub steps, trap hi hats, fast rolls, yeah, yeah, drum and yeah. bass, snare roll, yeah, rapid rolls, stuff like that. Let's use it on the hats, for instance. Again, the combination again, if you want to hold multiple steps, you can hold them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's, let's use one step for now. You keep hold of it so you can see it underneath there. And you'll get these four markers here. Or five. One, two, three, four, five. And they're the substeps. 16, okay. 32, 64 triplets. Okay. And then literally you can just do that. We get the magenta, so it's like that step has the rapid ratchets. Okay, yeah, they're yeah, basically yeah. ratchets. Yeah. Yep. And you can hear it. And then I could do what I did before. I can hold the step, LED copy, page to hold the copy, paste, 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 yeah. and then. We should drum bass if we do that a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Big long intros and rolls. Yeah. So, so that's really cool to show that. It's yeah. Really, yeah. Ratchets are in there. I'm going to take it off. And of course, you can do clear the effects that you did, but it's easy just to take the step off, you know, and go back yeah. to yours. And that's Fine. why I like how things are easily quickly done. Unsolo it again. I'm going to turn that snare off there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so motion recording. I'm in a synth engine. So this lovely pad here. Again, key and all. Get one octave. And again, don't forget, it comes with an adapter where you can actually plug in the mid keyboard with Fine. the MIDI in and out. Yeah, so you wicked. can do what you do. But if you're self-contained, like, and you just want to just roll with That'd this. Be, that would be a nice addition, wouldn't it? Yeah, having the, Yeah, having of course, when you play full chords and keys and stuff like that. Yeah, especially with nice. strings and pads, yeah, you know, you want yeah. to really, especially play them high and low and stuff. So, quickly showing you this, quickly in the sound mode. Obviously, we've shown the categories. Mm. So it's the same theory. Scroll through all the sounds. We hold the sound button. These are the categories, bass, synth, pad lead and so on and so yeah. on. And that's across everything in the synth engines. Yeah. So there's your synth, you're happy with it. Now if you look here again with the knobs that are correlate with the lights, sound's the first one, monopoly second, pan and volume. Okay. So this is what's really cool now. So if I stick on here, this pad for instance, I page, you can see the page there flashing, mm -hmm. and this tells me what page I'm on. Each time you press it, so you're not kind of stuck what page you're on. You can see the page, but you can also see the light. So there's like you know, there's four pages. Okay, so in the sound section, you can see here, mono poly, for instance. So if I go to uh, the first one, which would be mono, they're cutting each other off. It's mono, yep. it's a mono sound. If I go to the second one, there you go, oh, poly. Yeah. So you can play chords. Which is great. So we get polyphonic sound now, out of the synth engines. The third one is chord mode. So this is where you get the chords in here yeah. now. So you can actually get to expressively play chords as alongside your drum section, for instance, as well alongside your maybe mono bass or your bass riff. So you can actually really start to do melodies now. You know, all self-contained again. 
if I wanted to change the key, if I want to change the type of chord for that, yep. if I was yep. in chord mode, yeah, I'm seeing that's all in the back. Yes, right, yes, right, okay, great, right, okay. great question. Yeah, key and scale. Now, when you dig deep into that, and we'll see in a minute, you can actually then go into the chords, the keys, the scales, the quantize. Right. So you're not just, that's where the, the app then starts to become like yeah. a really good companion to what's going on. It's like, okay, all right. But that doesn't mean you have to use the app 24 7. It just means, like, like you said, the perfect example of which is you could change them, but then you want to see kind of, okay, what key do I want it in? Yeah. Project, what scale, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so motion recording, let's record some motion recording. Yes. So yeah, it's really simple, press record and then start recording. So that's me actually uh, motion recording the delay real time with the DX engine. Yeah. So technical automation. Yes. Yeah. And then, obviously, if you do anything with the effects and you go too far, you can clear effects. Then Fine. Clear effect. so, yeah. so you can actually do some real-time performance stuff as well with the synth engines, which is great as well. With any effect that's in here. This is so, so cool. obviously, Yeah, and there's over 85 single effects. Don't forget you have single and master effects as well. Yeah. So it's like, you know, each delay, for instance, will have multiple types of delay in there. Yeah. And reverb and so on and so on and so on. So, yeah. Mate, this is so cool. Can, can we talk about it physically for a second? Yes. It, this is... I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure it's pretty obvious to anyone. And the weight looking, as well. The, yeah, the weight. The weight's nice. It's it's surprisingly light. I looked yes. at it and thought it'd be a bit heavier. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's, it's perfect weight, I think. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, it's one of those keys where you can see how it would feel. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's very like '90s keyboard. Oh like, yeah. I mean, yeah, '90s actual I, QWERTY keyboard. I like that. Yeah, the clicky, and I like yeah, that. There, there is it's the tactile, you know that you're... You know, that's the word it always yes. comes up there. You see an actual button now, it's always tactile. Yeah, I like that. You like it's to know what you're like. pressing and get the sound. I think that's really important, you know, like get the sound of the... <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> get the click of the sound so you can get a feel for it. Yeah, yeah. but it isn't, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's satisfying. It's really, it's really cool. Don't forget, this is a rechargeable battery. So How, what, what's the battery saying? No, no, for about four hours. It'll take about between three and five to charge it. Okay. So, it, it, you know, obviously, it depends on how long you've got it on, but generally you're not going to sit there for like four hours bagging away. Well, you might be, to be honest, but you're going yeah. to turn it off at some point and come back. Yeah. So it's really cool. Imagine rechargeable via USB, right? Really easy. Fine. Really, really easy. And everyone's got like USB charge, and it can be a battery bank yeah. that you can use. So you can use a battery bank and just do USB C battery yeah. bank and recharge I mean, like that. USB C as well, the fact that it's USB C, I'm just happy it's USB C. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, if you're in projects as well, you just hold projects and it can hold eight at a time, and you just click to the new project that you want to do. Oh, quickly, let's show sampling. Okay. Because we have to show the sampler engine. We okay. Have to, have to. And in sampler section, you have seven slots of your own stuff. So, uh, if you hold sampler, oh, we've got a little riser on there. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, it sounds from before. That's really really cool. So seven sampler slots in the sampler. You can change the start and end points. You can change the attack and decay. So you can really fine tune them. You're not just set with putting a sample on there and going, oh, you know, yeah, you're yeah, not. Yeah. And you can have effects, don't forget, as well. So really simple here, the rec sample button at the back. Okay. You just hold it, and then you'll see a dialogue of three uh, LEDs. So the terminology for the seek track is, if it's yellow, that's what's active you're currently yep. working on. If I click the first one, that's going to be a uh, microphone. Second one's line in, because you can do line in recording, so you can sample from an iPad, you can sample from some synths in the store, for instance. Yeah. Bring them in and sample yeah, a synth. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the third one is resampling. So if I go to microphone, I just literally press it and press it again. One, two, three, four. And the turns. Ah. <laughs> Stop it there. <laughs> and the turns. Ah. <laughs> How cool is that? And the turns. <laughs> So if I go to uh, an effect... Yeah, pitch that down, get some uh, delay on it. Ah. <laughs> hey, they could use that. That's got to start with a dub tune or something. Could actually... Anyway, that's for, another, that's for another weekend. That's for another weekend. So it's we're like a studio club now. So, yeah. But you can see how easy that is, though. Yeah, and that's the, wicked. The quality of the mic's good. It's like, all right. I went close for a demo there, but you could actually, you know, you can have it away from you. No, it's all right. You pick right. up other sounds. Like, you was there and it still picked up your yeah, voice. Yeah, no, it got me. Really, really cool. So if I press it again, Obviously, it's line in. We haven't got line in there at the moment, but we go to third one, and that's resampling. Yeah. So you'll choose a key, um, maybe stick to that one again that we already sampled on. Hold it. Yep. Yeah. Press it again. And that's our sample time. I let go of that. Rec sample to stop it again. And so now we've got the resampled pattern. So 
So you can imagine the possibilities of that. Like most music uses resampling. So yeah. the world I'm in drum bass, we're always resampling kicks, we're always resampling snares. For instance, you could go to get to a kick. We have to go back to distortion, obviously, for this one. Because just, just because. Let's choose a bit of. Right, so, oh. so in drum and bass, you might say, okay, that kick, I really like the distortion, it's nasty, but then it's like, I kind of want to save that as my own. They literally will do resample, and you can resample your own kicks, your yeah. own snares, and then you get your own sound design kind of instruments then yeah. from the stock library, which is, there's tons of sounds in here already. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe mix your own in there as well. So, yeah, really, really powerful. I really like that you've got access to such quick, like the, having access to the effects immediately, that's really handy as well. Yes. I, mean, I, like, I like the idea of recording to the microphone and having immediate, you've got compression there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just immediately do something with that straight yes. off the bat yeah. with the effects. Yeah. Oh, and and so they're not cool. set in stone, so you can actually change them around as well. Yeah, yeah. So, should we have a look at the app? Let's do it. Yeah, okay. So, you can see all the sections of the app, and there's some really, like, I love the app. Like, we all have front of screens and laptops and stuff, so a lot of people will like to use the app as well, I think, once yeah. you see how what it can do. I, can we appreciate? It's not hideous. It's great. So many of these it's so clean. Are so clean. And this looks yeah. great. Yeah, it yeah, looks great. a nice little logo at the bottom there. Yeah. Uh, it tells you what version you're on and stuff like that as it updates. So this is what's really cool. So the parameters are in there. So you get to see, so you're not just, and this is obviously for your muscle memory. Because mm. obviously we have, you know, you time the cameras and that. You have to remember all the features and what lens and, you know, <laughs> what, what f stops and all that stuff. And in the studio, like what, what's pitch, what's sampler again, what's, what's that combination? Everything's in here. Everything that you need to know is in here. Combination-wise, you get to see the parameters, you get to see the effects list, and this is really cool. You get to see all the shortcuts, shortcuts list. for everything. Oh, this for is everything. Cool, man. So you see me then, like you know, I've been quite a bit of a Jedi on it recently, <laughs> but I've had to be like learning things. So Just I, on it, and yeah. I have a lot of drum machines at home, so it's like you get on it, and you go, ah, oh, where was I again? And so then you get back into it. But this is quite intuitive to get back into. But we all have them days where you're just like. Okay, what well, was play again? Yeah, and then it's like you just go here, like try especially and yeah. I mean, like I say, you're someone who's educated and, and understands, you know, every sequence or whatever. But then it's all learning, learning each individual each one. one's nuance. Yes, you know, yeah. they're all just slightly different. They're all and slightly different. It's almost like I wish they were completely different so that yeah, I remember yeah. them clearly. But Honestly, no, this is yeah, it's cool. But this is such a good idea. But it's going to help. Really to, like to, this. To, yeah, 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 because yeah. you know, you're saying, oh, it's track and pattern again. All oh, right, yeah. that's all. I've changed quantize. All right, that's mute the track, and it, so you're really good again. So really, really good. The next level of that is there's something here called a dynamic tutorial. I love this. You just click on it, and you just click on a knob, and you get to see what it, that knob is, what section it's part of, what does it do, nice. and what are the linked parameters to that. Yeah. So you get to actually learn, you get, you get to learn about it. Yeah. So you, you can get the seat track, and then you can say, okay, oh, how do I, you don't even need to read the manual, really. You can yeah. go into the dynamic tutorial and go, oh, that's what it does. And you can just start doing it real time, yeah. like a helper. This, no, this is so cool, man. This is super it's tactile, amazing. dynamic, responsive. Mate, we're cracking out all, all the words. All the all words, the words. Today. This, they, is, this is all of them. This they, is everything. They've left nothing out. This is it. No stone has um, been left. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's, it's proper. All right. Okay, so Come on, man, you're getting me excited. Come on, let's look at the editor. We're not, editor. We're not doing visualize yet. It's coming. No, 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 it's coming. No, no, it's on its way. I just can't. That's like the drum roll. We're nearly there. Editor. Editor. We're nearly there. What are we looking at? Okay, so the key editor literally is the is the seat track in software form. Okay. So this is why it kind of comes really cool now because this is good. Yeah, it's really cool because you can actually generally realistically see say, okay, oh, there is a reverb on that one. Yeah. I mean, you can see it, but you know, especially something without a screen as well. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Because some people would say, oh. There's no screen. But we've all got laptops, we've all got tablets, and it's iOS, Android, PC and Mac, the yeah. app. So this is a phone, you can do this on the phone as well? Yes, so, so it's, and then it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This so, is so, so, cool. so this helps you have the ability to then expand upon that, because you might oh, have a small I laptop, like you might have a big lot. screen, you might have, a, you know, we've all kind of got some sort of screen available, and it just makes it open it up a bit more for oh, yeah, you. Yeah, I like the idea of that, seeing this on a phone, that, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, man. and so on here, uh, left to right, simple, we get to, Change the tempo. Mm. Of course, there's tempo buttons on here, but let's face it, if you want to do, I don't know, 88 tempo, you're not gonna, yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna yeah, go yeah. 88, tap on it, it's really cool. Um, these are the effects, and of course, they can be changed at will. You get the reverb categories. Do I have to go distortion again? I have to just look at it again. <laughs> I don't. I just gravitate to this thought. So, will this change in real time if you start messing with stuff? Or yes, of course. It, yeah, really? yeah. Let's do it. Like, so, if I go to the sound everyone, button, everyone like seeing something move. Don't yeah, they? there you go. So, look <laughs> in the buttons there, and you can see there. Yeah, the attack. Yeah, nice. So on the kick, I can change the attack and decay. Yeah, I'm I, I, I can it. choose the effects. Look at that. So you've got oh, bit crushers. Right. You've got turntable effect. That was a tape stop thing. Wicked. Um, if I go to the bit crusher and I do that, look at this. Starts to implode more, crushes more. <laughs> 
I know. I just love that. I just, yeah. I'm, I'm a gamer. I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I same, love mate. graphics, so yeah. It's, well, everyone loves graphics, don't they? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So we put on a master effect. You see it? So and, cool, and don't forget, man. each track can have a separate effect. So you have single and master. So obviously, the master is too much doing that. But it just shows you then that anything you start, you said before the question, anything you touch and start messing around with, like it'll, this, it'll flip to it. That's so cool, man. Yeah, and everything's I categorized. really like that. Oh yeah, because everyone's like, everyone's already got a phone, so it, it, this, this gives you a reason. You go, oh, why hasn't it got a screen? Don't worry. Yes, yes. And once you get your already, muscle memory, yeah. you, you're just like, oh, I know, because you, you can get around it the terminology Mate. really quickly. I think you this know, is so cool. it makes a lot of sense holding things and the combinations. Yeah. Nothing's more than two combinations away, you know what I mean? You're not yeah. going, uh, 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 and then trying yeah. to do, it's just one you of You've got like two. two degrees of separation from yeah. anything you want to do. That's what I mean, it's like, well, hold the step, combo. Yeah. That's it, it's, it's, yeah. it's nothing too far and away if, from And them. if you don't know what the combo is, it's all there for you. You go straight into the manual. Mate, this is yeah, really cool. Really right there. Now this makes a lot more sense. It does, not it? It's no. not just an editor. No, no, no. Definitely no. not. It, I think it, this is just really useful, just even just for performance. Yes. I really like that. It's very it's very deep. This yeah. is so And cool. we'll look at performance in a minute with the song and scene one, which is also amazing. Yeah. Um, so, for instance, the bass there, you see there, I click on that. It tells me it's bass. I open the sound category, and there's the categories. And then I can see all the different bases and I can actually say, okay. And start going through all the sounds. But obviously then you can go to the sound knob and then you can. But then you go through the categories as well. So obviously within the sound knob, I can then say, okay, um, synth leads. I like that one. Okay, cool. And then obviously we can then uh, key, all in key mode, and then... Cool. And go back to it. So you can obviously change the chords and stuff like that. But what's really cool is, if I go to... Okay, it's going a bit mad now, but yeah. that's fine. That's absolutely <laughs> so, fine. So that's, that's replaced that since that was there before. And yes, okay, yeah. right. so you can actually swap them on the fly. You just open the sound knob and you can actually then start to categorize. So obviously, that can be anything. You can put a piano instead of the, the pattern that's already there. Mm. So speaking of patterns, if I come out of it and go pattern, and I go to edit, we have the pattern editor. So in oh. here, you can actually see the, you can actually, you know, the bass lines, we can actually then, okay, if you wanted to. legato, I can change the key of it, you know, what, what, track, what channel it's on by going to this little anchor point. So you can actually then get your riffs tight. So if you do play a riff and it's just a little bit off, you just, yeah, you just fine. bring it back. So it's actually a pattern editor built into it as well. Yeah. So it's really, really, really cool. Um, again, moving across here, performance tab. This is like your mixer section. You right. can access it from the machine, uh, but it's easy, I think, sometimes to just start to... It's nice to see it as well, though. It's nice to yeah. have it there and you go, okay, well... Because if you're in a rush and you're trying to, or even if you like performance, you're like, okay, I need to make sure that we're just dropping out a kick for now and, and building, doing a build up. Yeah. Okay, the kick's there. You're not like doing some mad combinations yeah. unless you're really proper Jedi on it. Then it just makes it easier to just, okay, I'll move the kick out. Yep. Yeah, fine. Really, really cool. Um, let's set the distortion down. Never. <laughs> Never. Resonance comp. Oh, so, there, so there's tons of sounds. There's over 2,000. So you're really not going to get stuck, you know, for sounds. And obviously, yeah. well, don't forget when you get a sound, you can actually go into the pattern, you can change the pattern like we showed a minute ago, we change the bars and beats for it, the chord editor, you can click on the chord editor, and then you can edit your own chords. Really? So you can actually choose your custom chords and make your favourite chord and then save and they, that. What they assign. Yeah, yes, they okay. and they assign to the keys. So you, you're not just stuck with the chords that are there, even though they're good, you know, it's like you can change all that. And then in the sound design tab, amazing. So the sound design tab in the synth engines, wow. you get EQ, LFO, LFO Portmento, ARP, Amazing, but if you go to the DX engine and you go into the sound design tab in the DX engine, operators one to four, pitch envelopes, portmento, arpeggiator. This so this is real deep diving now. And of course you can deep dive through the machine, but this is where it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Like you're not gonna mess around with operators and portmento and stuff. You're gonna be on here just tweaking your sound, really tweaking your sound. So it's great to be able to do that. This is in depth, man. It's really, really good. Really, really powerful that. And you see the power now, it starts to expand upon yeah. things. Um, if I go to sampler, there's our sample slots. So I click on it and you get to see the start and end point and stuff like that. You can see what sample it's on. Oh, so you can chop up. And yeah, you can okay. chop up and you can swap sounds over, including your own sample sounds. Okay. Can so, you store, so you can store things you're recording here yeah, on there? Yeah, they store, yep, yep. Everything gets saved in that. We'll look at that in a second. Wow. Um, if we go a little bit deeper into settings, you can see here, like you were saying before, how do we change the key? 
So go into key mode, you can choose a project key. You can choose what type of swing is the default. Wow. What scale it's in, look at all the scales. So you can actually choose the scales as well. So you can really get it right and set this up how you want it to be. Mm. Um, if you go into the advanced tab, there's a quantization. So for the hip hop and loose yeah. guys and girls, we can actually open that and say turn it off. Yeah. So input quantizer is then just loose. And it's then, all just mental. Yeah. yeah, so it's really, really cool. Uh, and then the sound design tabs and the gate and stuff like that and the launch quantizer, which we've shown yeah. before, when it waits for it, how long it takes for it starts again. Really, really powerful. So yeah. This is wicked. Should we have a look at song mode? Let's do it. Okay, so song mode. Like I say, I have many drum machines, yep. and when one launches, I see on the, ch on the channel and stuff, I'm like, where's the song mode? What, what's yeah. <laughs> and, and lots of people do, they yeah, always ask for it. Oh, everyone says, oh, well, where's song mode? What does it do? And, and some machines don't have it, they just have like a drilling mode. Yeah, yeah. So what I love about this is, it's got a song and scene mode, but they're really intuitive. Okay. So that's really, really cool. Uh, to access them, maybe put the GUI editor on so we can kind of see something alongside it. You just hold project, and all. Sorry, all then project, it goes white, Song mode, hold it again. You get this turquoise color, scene mode. Right. So the difference between song and scene mode is scene modes, the scenes can be looped at will and changed around, you're getting ideas. Yeah. The song mode is a structure of the scenes yeah. as yeah. they are. So yeah, it's really, really easy to understand. So if I go to scene mode, this is how rapid it is to get a rough idea down. So we talked about the terminology. Each knob is a track, can hold six patterns across 11 tracks. So that terminology of it. So you can have, and mix and match all the different grooves and stuff. Yeah, tons of stuff. Yeah, tons of stuff. So let's start with, you can never delete the first scene. So we'll, we're in scene mode now. I hold delete. It's red now, so we're massively deleting stuff. So that's a little, little nice little helper. Scene one is literally that, the, the, the whole track. So scene one, if I mute, unmute it, sorry. Scene one. So this is the whole scene. Yeah. yeah. And it's okay, right? How do I build that? How do I flesh that out into something more yep. performance-based? Get some performance ideas down. How do I build it onto a song, which is a big thing? Song mode is big for a lot of um, machines that you want to be able to get a song done, and you know how it might flow together. Really, really cool. So you can't delete the first scene, so it's already got the first scene on there. Adjacent scenes will then copy it across. Now each one of these scenes, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight scenes. No, they're all seven. identical. Yeah. So this is how you build up your song. So first scene. Okay, I might not want the beats. Yeah. I'm gonna mute out the beats. Simple. Second one, I'm gonna mute out, apart from the kick, let's leave the kick in, and maybe a hat. Mate. Third scene, mute, uh, leave everything maybe apart from the snare. Fourth scene, I'm gonna let it all play. Wow. And then literally you can just. That was so simple. I mean, how quick is that? Yeah. Next scene. Waiting for the quantize. Yeah. Next scene again. All in. Really cool. That was so cool. So, so how quick is no, that? I did like I like yeah, just the just the, the I made it such a flex to see just how the mutant. Yeah, and just that's how quick it. <laughs> I've not seen anything that, that does that, you know. Normally, that's like song mode, cool. you, I mean, the song page, I mean, you know, yeah. it's getting a bit confused, but literally, it's just that. You do forget the scenes, mute, ain't in that what you don't want. Yeah. So, that third one there, you know, you can just take out, you can put a snare back in it, put a clap back in it. Yeah. Go back, and because it's scene mode, it means you can trigger on the fly as well, so you yeah. can actually then. Yeah, the cue in as well is yeah. nice, mate. It's just... But you can also change that launch quantize by just pressing projects yeah. and all, and then I can say, okay, give me quicker bars, give me one bar now, yeah. thing, so I'm not waiting too long. So if you do a performance, <laughs> obviously you want to do one bar, you probably need two bars to be honest, so let's do two bars. So like a remix. I like that, yeah. You can just go back and yeah. forth. And back to the intro. And then you build it up. Yes! And then with the rolls. <laughs> so, so you get that with a fly performance so you can actually, yeah, on the fly with your own tracks. I, well, I'm honestly of the opinion that any product like this, I think as soon as you start um, showing the efficiency mm. of it, I think that's that's where people get most impressed. That's yeah. what I feel most uh, like Because you, you want to be speedy on it, don't you? You see you someone make a track and, and they're just, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just yeah. do it, and everything's changing, and everything sounds good, and nothing's going haywire. And exactly. You go, wow. And they're doing it super quickly. I think that is such a good demonstration of that. That's I big love for how me, efficient though. that is. See how, how quick, quick that was? Like, I how mean, quick that because is, obviously, man. if you're a live performer, or you're like doing a rave or a festival yes. or whatever, it's really important to get your performance down live. And yeah. that scene mode there, you know, I'm going to have a longer intro and keep all of the intro. Well, it's, it's, even, it's even the repeats and stuff like you, you kind of You kind of just go like, exactly. that, that's, that's a stressful thought. You go, right, yep. what am I going to do next? Exactly. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And you're just like, what if I real time? Uh, do I know that what I'm about to press is going to happen? Yeah, uh, yeah. But that is you're just oh, it's that easy. Yeah, uh, I love that. You just trigger him and you're. Off, I, it yeah. mate, it's great. Yeah, it's really, so really cool. efficient, wicked. And that's just the scene mode. Yeah. So, there, so when you have your scene set, obviously we've some. So let's let's maybe go to two bar. Let's go to four bars. So four bars. I'm in scene mode. Project all, all in project. Sorry, project and all. Project and all. Yeah, project. All in project. All them projects. You got it. All these key combinations. But that's a good one. So now we're in song mode. So that's the tape by the way. And obviously on the app you can see that as well. So this is the song and it'll play from left to right. And you obviously can fill up the song scenes. Yeah. And then it'll stop at the end. And you can loop it as well if you wanted to. Wow. So literally then in song mode, I just go to the first key and then there's my song. That's just playing through all the scenes yeah. in the background. This is the song mode now, just like song. <sighs> This allows for some pretty complex songs as well. This is what I mean, because you can obviously rearrange yeah, parts. This is... So you're performing your song live. Let's get the tape stuff so on. Cool. Tape stop. So this could be your song for the intro, for instance. And the tape stop. So you can actually stop your song with wow, the tape stop yeah. first. See, I've seen things going yeah, yeah. on there as well. It's like, yeah, I, I love seeing is... the graphics on there as well. But you get the idea how you can really then have a this song. This is really wicked, yeah. Being a performance as well. So a song being a performance with the two in synergy together. Yeah. So that with the high pass and repeater and the effects level. Yeah. Song mode doesn't just have to just play and leave it. No. You can actually then play and then really. Well, it's, it's having the confidence to be able to mess with stuff. You go, okay, well, here's my song. And yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, and you know, for this live gig, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yes. Have a little play, and it's having the confidence to go. Okay, well, everything's everything's like you say. It's, you're two degrees away from doing anything with any combination. Yeah, once you, once you understand, you're it. not far away from it. But even if you don't understand it, it's all right there. You have got a laptop. Whether you have got a phone with you, exactly. Like, this is really handy. This is really cool. Yeah, it's really. And to be fair, if, once you really get into it, you probably won't need the screen that much, apart from no. maybe seeing the changing the operators and going deep like that. But yeah. you can do it standalone. It's pretty Yay. much a standalone device. Wicked. So say you have your project there, and you want to look into it, maybe backing it up, saving yeah, it, yeah, all done. It. That's it. That's my son. Project sound sound manager and here you can see we have this free demo projects in the unit that you can get which is really really cool um, these are the ones that I demos that I made and stuff and tweaked and stuff um, you can drag and drop you can export them to your hard drive on your Wicked. Always system nice. and you can import or rename them from that as well so you, you could put bring that into a door and have a mess around with it pretty much yeah and you can just grab right from here your last save projects can be swapped on the fly is is would that if I exported one of these into a door would, would that export each separate no because it's USB stereo okay, recording right. so, so, so it's, it's left and right okay. yeah so we'll Fine. show we'll show that in a second actually we'll, okay. we'll show that so very very good question in the project manager you have project sounds and create projects mm. so that's good for backing up projects saving them you want to recall them and maybe save like a I don't know, maybe a structure for an album release or something like that. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the sounds tab, this is what's really cool. We can have tagged sounds, so you can actually have sounds with almost like metadata. Yeah. That's going to be in the bass category. That's going to be in the kick category. So your favourites, your, your chill it. sounds, your exactly. Dirty sounds. Your chill sounds, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the nasty ones. You yeah, say, yeah, nasty yeah. So if you like oh, a sound, you just put a heart. You click a heart, and it's favourite. Yeah. So. And then you can see what category it's in already. It's factory preset, so you know that it's yeah. from the factory. I wish I wish guitar stuff had this. I wish guitar stuff had this kind of stuff. I think mean, like stuff like QC and all. And I, it's good to see that. Yeah, and you can search for sounds. So you yeah. can actually have a search. You can just type in what you're looking for. Nay, hey, that's that's um, really cool. Really, really cool. So this is what's also really, really cool now is if you go to additional sounds, we've got packs here. Oh, so there's packs that you can 
But as long as you connect to Wi-Fi, you can actually then go into the packs for all different types of styles of music. 8-bit drums. I go to 8-bit drums, I can play a kick, for instance, and maybe an 8-bit kick, chip, chip tune sound. <laughs> I can drag it into my project. Yeah. Or I can have a project and then dump it to here. So there's actually a library of sounds alongside the sounds that you already have. We have packs of most genres and sounds and effects and all that kind of stuff. Really, really powerful. The next one is create project. So now I can actually prepare my project for my performance. So I can actually then have my custom sample sounds, maybe grab some um, of the seat track, maybe grab some of the packs, and literally just start to drag and drop and create do you, my do you, do you, uh, To do that, do you need this plugged in, or can you start doing yeah, this? Yeah, they, okay. they, they need to be together. So it's not a standard thing, you just, no, okay, no. Right, that's fine. Um, it's simple, like, it's, if you, as long as you plug it in, it picks it up, and then you can right, go, yeah. I was just curious if that was a standard thing, you can no, set that up. No, because, because anything that you set up then will have to be saved back to here, obviously, if it is right, a project, okay, so, okay, fine, fine, so fine. yeah, it's a good question, that. But yeah, you literally can create your own you know, set no, up for whatever. This is great. It's this great, just drag and drop everything you want. All the categories are there. Is it drums, is it synth, sampler? If you go to sampler, you go to the very bottom, recorded sound, it tells you the sounds that you recorded. Yeah. Was it a resample? Um, and you can tag it. Was it a bass that resampled? Was it my yeah. voice that resampled? Um, so yeah, it's really, really powerful. So yeah, wow. really, really cool. And come back to your question about fleshing this out now. Yeah. So obviously we all have doors and stuff like that. I mean, we might want to expand upon Mastering maybe and stuff like that. That's why I do. I do mastering, so I might want to expand stuff. You know, I might want to just go in and dig a bit more and clean up frequencies, get a bit fatter and stuff like that. The performance, really, really cool. You can do this because it's obviously USB C audio. I get, for instance, maybe Cubase up. It's Cubase 13, the newest one. Um, I can go to Arm Track. Uh, you can see here it comes as a device Seek Track, which is left and right audio of USB C. Fine. I arm the track. I press record and then. Straight into my door. Yes. The song mode. <laughs> so, which is good. All so, I actually record the whole song. Yeah, all the seeds moving through. Yeah. And then, obviously, then in my door, as you know, in doors and stuff, like for instance, QB, we've got Black Valve, we've got the Valve plugins, and yeah, then yeah. the new EQ plugins, and then we can actually start to mix and then. So yeah. we can actually you can, fatten. Well, you can record live sets of this as well if you wanted to. Oh yeah, yeah that's a good one. On the fly. Oh, that's a really, that's a really, really good one. That's a really, really good one. I don't think of that. So yeah, if you need a performance, you can actually have, I don't know, Berlin on. Yeah. Berlin Festival, yeah. performance one, recorded live. Yeah. Live. I say, you can, you can just have your laptop separately yeah. recording yeah, this while you're played live. So it's really amazing. Especially yeah. if, you've already, if you've already got it for all the other stuff that yep. the app. And then you just save all your performances so cool. and yeah. yeah, yeah so you can actually maybe have a project saved and then have the live performance version. Yeah. Project performance, project form. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, really cool. So yeah, it's great. Um, finally, this is what I wanted to show you because I'm a geek and I love geeky stuff. This is a Are game we changer. It? We're doing it. Okay. We're doing it. And this is all random. I'm just making this up by the way as I go along. So I'm not going to like, <laughs> I'm not just like, yeah, this is well rehearsed. No, I'm just throwing things in now. So it might, it might look cool, it might not, but it is a cool thing to show. Oh, it's going to be really underwhelming if it's. Oh, no, I'll say that. No, yeah. no, you put pressure on now. It's just, <laughs> now, now, now it's on. Now it's on. Okay, let's get there. So it's called Visualizer. I think this is a game changer. I've not seen this for about 20 years and something in a product that was, and it still wasn't like this. Yeah. So click on Visualizer. Look at you there, like, thinking, I, this, this better be good. I've seen the this mouse be around, like, please, please, please. Like, please oh, don't let me down. There's a loaded Visualizer, bar. be good. Be good, Visualizer. Right, okay, so look at that. So now... Yeah, if, if something comes with an epilepsy warning, sometimes I'm excited. I'm yeah, like, I, 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 I had to turn it off, by the way. So, yeah. Um, but this is really cool, because what this is now is, is videos. So you can actually create your own assets, <laughs> video assets, to go with the track. Come on. What, 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 it, it is what they, they're links to the scene. Yes, so so this is video assets. That's a game changer. That's wicked. So you can have, I can have a projector on stage and... So VJs, remember, because you, you know you get DJs, but you get VJs now who put on big projectors, big screens, yeah, big festivals. Yeah, i to do that, yeah. Come on, it's like scenes here. This so you, is cool. So man. I can't wait to see what people come up with when this comes, you know, like the, the C mode and they're coming out of it and stuff like that and making their own scenes and settings and videos now. So you actually create your own video assets. So you're not paying someone to do a video for your track. Right. You've got a quick video down, you're doing your live performance, send it to the VJ, put it up there for me. This, yeah. is, this is my performance, my video that goes no with the track. No external software, nothing like that. It's just. Built in. It's a, I think it's a game changer because look at all the concepts that are in there as a default template, but. If I go into, say, for instance, acid mode, look at this. In sync to the beat. And each asset, so the hat's got nothing on it, I can go to the hats and I can say, okay. I can draw text in, so let's call it, you know, seat track. Draw it in there, draw it in there. There's a text, I can come out of there. There is seat track. I can choose if it's orange, wireframe, black. Let's do the orange one. 
really, really cool. But this is what's amazing now. You have the other objects category, which I absolutely love. So look at this. Dinosaurs, wolves, bears, elephants. Like, this is where the creators are going to go off the scale now for people. Yeah. So it's amazing. So, I don't know. Crocodile? Is that an alligator or a crocodile? I don't know. Crocodile. There's a crocodile. Right, I can... it looks old school, but in a way that I do oh, get it. This is going to be cool when you see the videos that people like, dropping. It's, what's jokes is that the, the, the graphics look old school in the same way that this I looks love old that. school. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, like, it's just like yeah, keeping it all, It's keeping it like that. You know, like 8-bit, <laughs> like, you know. Nes, Nes, I love that. I love it. So obviously you can change the size. You can change the motion of it. You can change if it goes on the beat or not. So yeah. if I go back to that there, you can say, press play, look, to the beat. Change the view. I, I, tell you that, I wish you could see this. Look at that. There's an alligator twerking on a keyboard. That's all it is. Alligator, look. How good is that? So you get three of them <laughs> objects. So it's got like an analyzer, it's got an alligator or a crocodile, depending on whatever reason you're from. <laughs> Is it, I think it's a crocodile, the crocodile. This is fun to mess around with, man. This is and, amazing, and, yeah, this is like, amazing. Look at the rep mode. So now here's your video and you can have random um, <laughs> angles or you can have it just set to a certain camera angle. So if I put it in random mode and I press record to the beat, it's my video. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> look at that robot. <laughs> I love the crocodile though. <laughs> <laughs> the crocodile is just like... And then when you finish, you just press stop, and there's your, there's your video. Oh, yeah. And this is just one preset. This is like this is, stock oh, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Good, good point. This is just one out of many. Yeah. And they'll probably get added as well. But so everyone really is going to be different. Because everyone's going to think, ah, I like that, but I might just have that in it. Or yeah, it's going to yeah. be that color. Or I might have this deformation of this. Or well, I just want a graphic EQ. I just want, yeah. Or I want a graphic EQ with just a text of my artist name. Fine. VJ put it up. So yeah, yeah. performing here today. Yeah. But I love stuff like that, you know, you just put. There's, yeah, there's, a, there's an elephant in there. I've not even seen the elephant. You know, you put yeah. an elephant in there, and maybe have that just dancing around <laughs> on the keys. It's up to your imagination. It's limitless stuff. Mate. The seat track. Bloody hell. We're there. We're there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're there. Links below. Mate, thank you so much for coming uh, in. Thank you. This week. Thank you very much. Mate, this is so thank cool. You. Mate, I do like the black one as well. I like you know what? I, I don't know. Sometimes I like, but it's like you know, this one I said it's like oh, and then I'm like oh, look at the black one as well. And now sometimes like today I'm like, that's because I'm wearing orange. Yeah. But I'm like, this actually looks <laughs> we pretty are, cool. We are so coordinated. We actually sing, great. And we didn't rehearse this, did we? We didn't. No. No. no so no. right, man. Not gonna lie, you've jobbed it a couple of times at your drum and bass and stuff. Obviously, we've yes, heard you that's what I do. Like yeah. That. I think we should end on. I, I want. I want to see you make something. I want to see you make from something scratch? from the scratch. All right, it okay. was that long. I mean, like, we, 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 uh, we really can't. <laughs> come on, they don't, no. don't have to be like mega scenes, but I think we just want to see you. I want to see you secret some drums, Pressure's secret on. some bass, secret yep, some noisy stuff. Okay, let's do and it. And then we'll, we'll, we'll end on that. Is, that. is that agreeable? Yep, that's agreeable. Wicked. Guys, links below. Check this out. This is super cool. No idea when this is going out. When is this going out, Steve? It's available immediately. Available immediately. Immediately. Yeah, links below. It's, it's there. Anderson's.co.uk. Do it now. I've nice. been us. I've been Sapo. There we are, look at that. Smooth as butter. Right, there you go. See right. You later. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> yes. <laughs>